In this video, we're going to talk about portfolio theory. Now, this is one of the areas of finance where you can really see the magic happen. Um, because what it is, is it, it uses a mathematical formula to show you how financial decision making can make you money. And that's pretty cool. So let's jump right into it. So what is portfolio theory? Portfolio theory is based on a paper that was written by Harry Markowitz in 1952. And what this paper does is it lays out a very basic concept. And the concept's this, that multiple investments are better than one investment. And this is the basis for what we've come to know today as diversification. So diversification is holding in your investment portfolio different um, asset allocation segments. Well, this idea of diversification is based on an equation published by Harry Markowitz. So I'm going to put up the equation so you can take a look at it. And the math here gets pretty complicated, but I want to focus on this core concept because I think the core concept's very simple and very powerful. So let's look at it. When you're putting together your investment portfolio, you have unlimited options. And one of those options is to buy just one investment. Let's say you go out and you buy just one stock. Well, that means you're taking all your savings, all your investment dollars and putting it in one particular investment. And that investment, the price is going to fluctuate. Market prices go up, they go down, and your savings is going to go up, and it'll go down with this one investment. Now, let's say you went out and got a second investment. Let's say you go out and buy a second stock. So now your investment portfolio consists of these two different investment opportunities. And both of them are going to be experiencing fluctuations. Sometimes they'll go up, sometimes they'll go down. But what happens is when you have multiple investments, these fluctuations tend to offset each other. And so if you have one stock where you lose a lot of money and you have another stock where you gain some money, those differences will offset each other. And so these big fluctuations that you would have experienced only owning one investment opportunity, um, those fluctuations get reduced and therefore your risk gets reduced. And so risk is something we care a lot about in finance because um, as we've discussed before, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. Well, this is a way by just making decisions to construct your portfolio in a smart way where you can lower the risk without lowering the price you pay for these individual securities. So this is, this is basically um, the, explaining the phrase, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. That's what this means. We don't want to put all of our money in just one investment opportunity because if we have a portfolio with different opportunities, we can lower the risk through diversification. Now, there's a famous economic example that kind of illustrates this that I want to talk through. And the example is this. Imagine there's two businesses on a beach. And one of the businesses uh, sells umbrellas. And the other business sells bicycles. Well, both of these businesses are very influenced by the weather. So during rainy days, the business selling umbrellas is going to make a lot of money, but they won't make any money on sunny days because no one wants to buy an umbrella in the sun. The other business that sells bicycles is going to make a lot of money on sunny days, but it won't make any money on rainy days. And so what you have in these two businesses is you have uh, businesses where the revenues and the profits are going to fluctuate a lot based on the weather. But if you take these two businesses and combine them together, so you sell both umbrellas and bicycles, then all of a sudden those revenues 
uh, the fluctuations you are experiencing, they uh, remain flat throughout the year, no matter whether it's rainy or it's sunny. So you can see that when you put these together, the diversification, the, the character of this portfolio is less risky, even though I didn't change the characteristics of these individual entities, together they're worth more. And they're worth more because if you went out and purchased these businesses by themselves, um, the, the market price, what people are willing to buy for these businesses, are going to be going to reflect the risk of that business. So if I look at the business that sells bicycles, it's going to be highly affected by the weather. It's going to be a high level of risk because of the uncertainty of those revenue streams. So people are going to discount that and you're going to pay a low price for that business. So if you buy the bicycle business at a low price, you're going to buy the umbrella business at a low price, you combine them in this portfolio, you reduce the level of risk, and therefore, for this portfolio, people in the market are going to pay a higher price. So you just created value there. And if you were to go out and sell this combined portfolio, you could sell it for a higher value. So that's what I, that's what I mean when I say, Smart financial decisions in managing your portfolio can create value, and it's because this mathematical equation in portfolio theory. Now, there's a lot of nuance to this, and I want to talk more about what diversification really means. And so in the next video, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the financial equations.